Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at our market leading ETFs for the coming week. This is for the week of September 29th, 2014. Had a, uh, had a rebound day on Friday, but uh, we definitely did some, uh, some technical damage here. Uh, and we're going to see some, uh, see, some, see some things sticking out on the scans. Uh, the Qs had a, uh, had a really strong rebound day. Didn't get a signal out of them. You can see there's an absence of signals on both sides. We did have a, a good day of volume there. Uh, so people were definitely active on Friday in the queues, and uh, definitely want to have those on the um, list for the uh, for the coming week. Or you can look at the triple queues, the TQQQ, if you prefer prefer to play the uh, leverage instrument on an intraday basis. Also saw some decent volume in the diamonds, the DIA. Not quite a uh, a volume uh, bump, but a decent volume. As far as the domestic sectors go, got an upside contra candle in the XLE. That represents the energy patch. Definitely keep an eye on that because the energy names uh, have have uh, have obviously been in play uh, with what's been going on energy prices and the dollar. Uh, we had a volume bump in the IBB and also uh, the XRT. Nothing else really stuck out with an outright deviation on Friday. Moving on to the commodities, you can see we're just kind of down on volume here and I don't really think they're being sold anymore so much as just not bid for. So that could definitely change on a dime if the dollar changes character and starts to uh, weaken a little bit. Uh, the XME traded decent volume. Uh, fortunately, there's no signal with that one. Bonds were definitely in play this week. Uh, the LQD and the AGG both had big volume days on Friday. Looking at the, looking at the foreign names, we've got a little bit better to the buy side here. We've got some upside indications in the RSX, EWG, and the EWT. EWT that, that tracks Taiwan also had a had a nice volume bump, so it might be one to uh, put on the list for uh, for the coming week. Moving on to the um, to the specials, not a lot going on. Here. Specials had a couple of a couple of volume bumps, but an absence of signals. You see, there's no signals on on either side here, but we do have a, an upside bump in the uh, in the URE. We've got a volume bump in the SDS. And a volume bump in the uh, in the SKF. Pretty big movement today in the SRS. You can see that was down two and a half percent below the day's open. So uh, what, we're, what, the, what we're really learning from this is that just today's uh, price action from Friday was uh, was definitely uh, well on the bull side. Uh, that we don't have any uh, confirmations of a follow through. So definitely want to be uh, be on guard and prepared for uh, a resumption of of the downward trend rather than this being a, a key reversal day though. It could be, and the bulls do have something to build on. All right, and here's a look at the watch list uh, for for our broad base ETFs up top in the individual sectors down below. You can see the uh, all the 13s and the 12s here in the uh, in the standard comer, and the 13s and 12s in place here on the uh, aggressive seeker for the broad base. So that definitely tells us where we where we are in the uh, in the market. So keep an eye on that. The uh, individual sectors too have. Uh, have some uh, pretty deep counts, especially in the uh, aggressive seeker here. And uh, while it doesn't always mark the ultimate top, it usually does predict, predict and correctly mark the end of an impulse. So that's definitely something that, that should be uh, monitored for all of these uh, for this week. Uh, definitely could present some uh, some very good short-term trades there this, this coming week. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.